All right, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2. I am your host, Recycled, and we have just exited the Temple of Trials. So now there's a bunch of stuff we can do, and the very first thing that I want to do is reduce the game's audio level, because it's honestly just a little bit too god dang loud. Okay. The first thing that I want to do is to get down to the guy who will train us to be better at fighting. So I'm going to walk very quickly <laughs> um, and try to walk by all these guys. And I guess I'll pick up this quest since I'm here. Uh, cousin, I'm glad to see you. I need your help. Well, what do you need help with? Smoke ran off into the hunting grounds and he has not come back. Now, Morlis won't let me go find him. She says it's too dangerous and he's just a dog. But I was going to go anyway. But now we're starting a sentence with but. You're here and you could do it and I wouldn't get in trouble and this and that and this. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, in, in due time. This is the Elder's Hut. I was thinking, I wondered, you know, what could happen if you managed to kill the elder before uh, you were provided with a, you know, a secondary MacGuffin. I never tried that. I don't know. I, I don't think she's invincible. I really don't. Anyway, this guy. So, there you are, chosen one. Humph. <laughs> How goes your quest? Uh, pretty not so good. Maybe you need a warrior's help. Sure, what can you help me with? I know how to fight with fists and feet. Think you can learn that? What can you teach me? I can teach you enough to fight better. It will take us all of one day. Okay, no rush. Fade very slowly. Whenever I'm recording, the fade is very slow don't know what to do about that. You have learned well, chosen one. May the wind be at your back. Thanks for your help. So now we are apparently better. I didn't check before we started, but um, yeah, you know, I mean, we're pretty smart. So, well, we're kind of smart. So we were able to get our gun skill up. Unfortunately, there's no guns around here. Now, um, We can try this. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Well, we're not going to use the spear anyway. But yeah, we'll do that thing that I didn't tell you what it was. Uh, we want to kill these things. So let's do that. And the thing about killing these things is that they have two attacks. One of which, melee, they, have to, they can only use it from one square away. And I stupidly walked right next to it. And the melee attack is pretty effective. So you don't want to get hit by the melee attack as much. Um, so what I'm saying is you want to take a step away because then they'll use their ranged attack and it's not very effective for them. I think I'm going to sequence faster than this thing. Because it got the drop on me. So we're doing some pretty good damage when we hit and take a step away. He has to fire a spike. If you are into throwing, you can use these and I think they can generate them infinitely. Not that they're very good throwing weapons, but they are throwing weapons. And Well, when you're throwing, you can hardly find enough things to throw. And it doesn't help that after you throw stuff, everyone thinks like it's fair game. And that they can just have your shit that's laying around on the ground. But, um... Whatever. It's okay if you get hurt here, because uh, this is the healer. He will heal you whenever you're able to hobble back to his hut. 
Oh, wait. I can't tell if that was... Maybe their melee attack has a range of two. Or maybe that was a spike that actually hit me. I really don't have a way to know that. Sneaky, sneaky. Haha. Foul beast. I should have a bonus to hit you. <laughs> because I was sneaking. See, now he's harder to hit. Click, click. I think that is the melee attack. I guess you have to be three squ squares away. Well, in any case, I have enough hit points to just duke it out with him. So that's what I'm gonna do. Whatever. Eventually. And my frames per second gets all screwed up. Yeah, I can't find any software that works well with this game. Fallout worked wonderfully with Bandicam. Fallout 2 does not work at all with Bandicam. At least not for me. And I guess I already told you all of this. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Ah, you return the spirit of the dweller to the world and bring a smile to the soul of an old man in passing. For this, I give you powders of healing. Remember... They fog the mind as they cleanse the body. Thank you. And also, will I mix the Brock flower with the Xander root together whenever you bring both yeah, to yeah. me? Okay. May your pathways be true and your heart yep. follow suit. Yep, yep, yep. But hey, I'm like bleeding a ah, lot. Ah, chosen. So heal me. Very slow fade. Very slow fade back. You are well. Thank you. Ah, chosen. My garden uh, is well. How is yours? Uh, the pleasure of these words fills me. Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> There's something you can loot in there, but I think that's kind of screwed up to do that. Okay, so... Uh, I wish I could get a level before I went in here, but... There's a couple of things you can do. I don't know if you get experience for all of them. Run! Run! Walk so slowly. Wah, wah, wah! Ta-da! This is your Aunt Morlis. What? No, that's nothing. That's a wall. Yes. Now, you can talk to her and save the game in, the, in one slot. That's not very smart, but we're not going to do that forever. Um, you can talk to her, and she will give you uh, something that you need, that you want. You stole from your own tribe. You lose three karma, but honestly, money is just so good right now. We're gonna basically. It's better just to pilfer it. Yeah. So then you've got the thing you need, and um, yeah, I guess we'll run down here and talk to the guy. We're about equidistant from there as to the other place I wanted to go to. Uh, no, no one around here does anything that I know of, except for this guy. Hello, Chosen One. Off to find the Gek. Uh, yes, but I was wondering about your spear, because it looks a little bit different. My father taught me how to make stronger blades than most. Get me a piece of flint, and I'll fix your spear, too. You'll need it in the wilderness. Where would I get some of this flint? I have some flint. They say your Aunt Morlis has been hoarding a piece. She's so ill-tempered, I don't think anyone's asked her. Of course, the witch will want something in return. Thanks, goodbye. Hey, look what I found. Uh, yeah, I talked to her out of it. Here you go. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't steal from my own tribe. 
That would just be unconscionable. Very slow fading. Here is your new spear. Thank you, my friend. This will help a lot. Actually, well, yeah, it will help. But I'm probably not going to use it. Anyway, what you get for your efforts? Uh, sharpened spear. And I don't have a regular spear to compare it with, but basically it does a little bit more damage. And it's a good spear. It's actually a really good weapon for Sulik before you can find him a gun. I think the best gun for Sulik is probably the... Um, the uh, 556 caliber, um, or they call it a 223 pistol. That is a really good gun for him because he can't spray with it. And when he shoots things, they feel pain. Now, we need to get rid of those, but basically, right now, eh, I guess I'll leave it there so we can try it. There is yet one thing we can do here. If you have low intelligence, you cannot do this because the guy won't even talk to you because he's a dork and apparently... Oh yeah, I think you can go over here. You'll still hear the dog barking, but the dog isn't actually there to be rescued until you talk to him and he tells you to go rescue the dog. If that makes any sense. Okay, so on this screen... Smoke is way over there. There are a whole bunch of geckos here. I am not really very close to a level. And I am not very good at either punching things or stabbing them. So what I'm going to do here is kill every single gecko for the XP. But because I'm not very good at it, it's going to take a really long time. Um, it could be very dangerous. I should probably say before I start. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is kite them around so that I don't take fatal damage. And, um, you know, eventually they'll all be dead. And I'll get the XP, and then we can rescue Smoke. So, uh, I realize I am able to edit, so... Jeez. Okay, you'll, you'll do just fine. Uh, God, he's far away. Woo, fast. Okay. Sequence, I go next. Oh, he goes next, then I go. So, I'm going to show you what it's like to kite these things. Like, 34% to punch or kick. 90% with a spear. No, thank you. Uh, I'll just punch them a million times. And I'll show you what it's like kiting one of these things. And uh, then I'll cut to uh, after we've killed all them, because it'll be incredibly boring to watch. So, let's just watch it once, shall we? Well, you watch it once. I had to watch every single one. But don't worry about me. I'm trying to help you. I think they can move four units. Nope, they can move five. So what that means is that since I have ten APs, I can use five of my APs on attack, so probably what I want to do is actually um, kick them once and then walk away. Although, you know, I'm pretty sure you can do this. I'm pretty sure you can punch twice and then run, so maybe I just wasn't standing in the right place. Let's try it again. So punch, punch, pretty good damage, and then da 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 da. Nope, they move five. You have to get at least five units away from these things, or they will exact retribution. I don't have quick pockets, so I need more. Um, I'm going to run far away, because I want to put this spear away, so I can kick. Uh, one, two, three, two, no, I have to keep running. So that way I can use my kick attack since uh, we can't use two punch attacks because these things are a little too fast and it endangers us. This one, oh, that's the hurt one? I got them mixed up. And we missed. See how exciting this is? That's why I'm going to cut. I wish my capture software would run a little smoother. Oop, I ran really far away. 
But he's still got somewhere where I can get him. That's good. I'll just screw with the settings. I mean, really, I just want, you know, reasonable quality that doesn't look like complete garbage. Oh, no. Getting backed into a corner. And then I want good performance in the game so it doesn't actually feel like I'm recording and piss me off and remind me, hey, you're capturing, so it's laggy. You know. So when you get backed into a corner and you're kiting, sometimes... You have to just one, two, three, four, five. And then for good measure, one. You have to do something like that to get behind stuff. Come on. Oh, I punched. I just want to drop one of these things on screen. It's weird how it always lags, like, when the second one is running. Very weird. We are recording, aren't we? Of course. Okay. And, uh, we cannot hit jack shit. But we will keep trying. Unsuccessfully. One of these days... A boot in your face, Mr. Gecko. There shall be. Yeah. If I'm not careful where I'm going, I'll aggro more of them. Just die already. So as you can see, this is going to be very fun for me, doing this to every single one of these things. There's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6. Th there's like a bunch of them. Oh, wait. I attacked the wrong one, but I missed, so it didn't matter. Oh, got aggro. Got that aggro. Wait. You... Okay, I really need to not do that. Oh, crap. Wait, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Can I go through these? I can go through those trees. Okay. This is bad news. You don't want to get backed into a place where... It yeah, I'm taking damage. You don't want to get backed into a place where you can't escape because then you'd have to kill someone to uh, walk over their corpse. Actually, would you? Well, with humans, you can actually push uh, friendlies like in battle mode, and I think you can shove enemies as well. Um, well, like I say, the guy will heal you infinitely as many times as you need. So as long as you don't actually die fighting, jeez, I suck, then it doesn't really matter how much damage you take as long as you can make it back to the hut. Or tent, or whatever you call it. I guess huts have walls. That's more like a tent. So. This is why I said we'd kite, because you see I'm taking so much damage. Finally, we've killed one. Okay, well, that's how that works. I'm going to kill everything else, and then we'll... I'll, uh, yeah, here we go. Hey, everybody. We're almost done here. So, I thought I would show the defeat of the final gecko. Um, it has been a severe drag. and um, But, you know, we persevered. We have killed every single gecko. I think. We can stop sneaking. And we are pretty darn close to level 3. And uh, since we're not uh, skilled, then we'll get our first perk at level 3. So that's going to be really cool. But that's in the future. And live in the now, man. So um, one thing that you want to do while you're over here, uh, because it's a rough place out there, and uh, you want to get all the Xander root and Brock flower 
to uh, give to the shaman dude. I forget his name. Um, because he will make you the healing powders, which um, probably not very useful if you ha happen to have low perception. I, of course, happen to have excellent, ridiculous perception because um, I want to have an easy time of things, so that's why I'm going to become a sharpshooter. And uh, so, anyway, it drains one perception every time you take it, but it also heals a little bit. Probably a little bit less than a stem pack. Oh, don't step in the goo. Okay, this is very important. We don't have boots, so it's imperative not to step in any toxic goo. At least until after... Well, no. For me... For me... Intelligence... Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I could theoretically become a citizen of Vault City uh, because I'm able to boost my luck, intelligence, and perception up to at least nine just through the testing. You would think it would take speech skill or science skill, but it doesn't. At least I don't think it does. Um, and when you do that, they also do a physical. And if you step in goo... You will have a problem later on with that uh, physical examination. Um, but there are other ways to become a citizen of Vault City. And that becoming a citizen of Vault City is something that we are definitely going to want to do. Because there are things that citizens know. And they also they have access to good loot inside the vault. Come on, dog. Okay, the dog is stupid. And the pathfinding in this game is really bad. So... He'll probably step into the goop and take damage. I'm going to very careful. See, I hate. That's why Katya died. Because your followers. Where the. Why would you do that? Why? Why, why, why? Why would you ever do that? Just come on and don't die, okay? Look, I'm over here. Come on. D do you want to come today, please? Yeah. That's why Katya died in Fallout. Because she was following me, and for some reason, she decided that following me wasn't enough. She also had to wander around the area, pacing back and forth through a half-broken force field, which caused her to be vaporized into dust. But, you know, I'm not an NPC. I'm not coded that way. I just go wherever I think I should go. Dog, are you going to follow me or what? Are you glitched? What the hell are you doing? Hi, Smoke. Smoke! Okay. I think that script was stuck for a second. <laughs> Game acts a little bit weird when I'm recording. Okay, here's your dog. You found Smoke! Thanks, Smoke! Or, no. You, <laughs> you found Smoke! Thanks! Smoke, you're a bad dog! You're welcome. Goodbye. So... That is everything we can do here. Um, I think we took some more damage. We took a little bit more damage, and since this is free... Oh, yeah, we need to see this guy. Ah, anyway. chosen. My garden is well. You already said that. Make powder. Powder, 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 powder. May this be of no use. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm bleeding. Ah, chosen. No, I'm not all right. My garden is well. How the pleasure of these words. Can you not heal me because I've, I did the ah, thing? Ah, chosen. Well, that fucking sucks. Yeah, he won't heal you after you do that. Because he knows that you have powder, I guess. So anyway, let's uh learn about the MacGuffin. Congratulations, chosen one. You have survived the Temple of Trials. Are you ready for your quest? Of course. Then take this flask. It is from the Holy Vault 13. Vic, a traitor in Klamath, brought it to us. He may know where the vault is. You may also need some of what they call money. Here. Uh, she can't really tell you anything, but I guess we should ask just for uh, to humor her. I cannot help 
much. Where's Klamath? Klamath is to the east. Find later. Vic in Klamath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's everything you can do here. I think that's everything. Can't do anything else. Nothing else to do. And we're still not level 3. But, see, it's going to be nice when we get to a place like Klamath. Because we tagged lockpick skill, which means we're going to be able to lock all the doors in the town. And it's also handy for uh, if you're like an unarmed character or something. Because if you ever happen happen to be in a situation where you have to like exterminate uh, like a house full of people for example and they happen to you know try to run away a lot and uh you can't really catch them because they're jet junkies and they have like 20 ap yeah one weird thing about uh the fallout uh combat system apparently for some reason every uh like enemy or npc type that if if they're the same, like, you know, every female addict, every male addict, they're actually, like, the same, and they're referenced the same. When one of them uses Jet, all of them get the benefit. It's like they all use Jet. So if you're in combat and you see, like, prostitute uses Jet, addict uses Jet, every time that happens, they all get more AP. And that's why you see them shuffling, like, boop, 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 like, way off the screen, because they have, like, 30 AP. Usually you can only use two doses concurrently, but they can stack. So anyway, you can talk to this guy, but, um, well, maybe. I talked to the Elder. Yeah, okay, well, f screw you. I'll speak to you no longer, insubordinate pig. <laughs> that is how I feel. Like, I was just saying goodbye, asshole. Jerk. Like, what, what did I ever do to you? So anyway, yeah, same slot. Yeah, same name. Fine. Great. Let us go to Klamath, and I think I'll cut it there. But first, let's get there. Uh-oh. It happened already. The war party. Actually, is this the one? Warrior. Nothing special. Warrior. No, this is just a generic war party. Um, yeah, these guys are probably going to uh, ruin my face. I'm going to run away. Because, yeah. I'm looking for a certain male warrior, but he doesn't seem to be here, so. Now, we could get some XP for killing them, but unfortunately, remember, I'm a gunslinger. I can't use my fists very well, and I can't stab very well. Where, where is me? Oh, yeah, melee. I can't do those, and guess what? You know, I don't have a gun. So, we are Audi. TT. S3. We arrive uneventfully in Klamath right around sundown. Is it? Oops, no, no, it's definitely nighttime. Because I clicked the wrong place. Oh. Okay, well, here we have arrived in Klamath, the first stop on our perilous, magical, incredible adventure to save the universe again. What will happen next time? Join us, join me, and we'll, we'll see who this guy is. He's stupid. Okay, everybody, see you later. Bye-bye.